It's been two and a half years since a DCFS social worker was killed during a home visit in Thayer, Illinois. The man accused of her murder started his trial today. Benjamin Reed is accused of stabbing Deidre Silas more than 40 times and bludgeoning her to death. Our Capitol Bureau Chief Cole Hankey is live in our Capitol Newsroom. Cole, how did both sides approach this trial? Well, in his opening statements today, the prosecutor said that this case is not about whether or not Reed killed Silas. It's about the mental state that Reed was in at the time. The defense is saying that Reed's mental health illnesses should be factored in while considering sentencing. But the prosecutor is saying that the actions of stabbing Silas over 40 times and then bludgeoning her with a, ha with a hammer shows a level of cruelty that goes beyond just mental illness. Now this is a bench trial, which means the judge and not the jury will ultimately make the final decision. And he will do that after hearing from a long line of witnesses. One of the witnesses that spoke today was Reed's mother. After fleeing the scene in Thayer, Reed, his wife, and their children drove to Decatur where his mom lived. And once they arrived, his mother said she noticed Reed was covered in blood. Did your son tell you what happened? Yes. As best as you can recall, what did he tell you? He said he lost it and he felt hurt. He felt her. Did he describe or indicate who her was? No. Amanda had said that it was DCFS lady. Now, his mother was the one that ended up calling the police and told them that Reed was on his way to St. Mary's Hospital in Decatur, and that is where Reed was eventually arrested. Now, this trial will continue into tomorrow morning. The prosecution said that they expect to be able to rest their case tomorrow after two lengthy witnesses that they intend to call to testify. Reporting in Springfield, I'm Cole Hankey, WCIA3, your local news leader. Cole, thank you so much.